I've had this jacket for a long time. 1,397 days to be exact. Put it through mountain hikes, morning commutes, under torrent rain, sunshine, and yes, the shower. So, is the Uniqlo block tag pattern worth it? Let's find out. The jacket features Uniqlo's proprietary block tag fabric, which Uniqlo claims is water repellent, windproof, and breathable. It has a hood with two draw cords on the sides, a front zip closure, two zip pockets, and another draw cord at the hem. Not sure why Uniqlo calls it parka when it's really more of a light rain jacket than an actual parka with a fur hood and down filling. But enough rambling. Let's get to the details. The fabric is made from 100% polyester. Up close, the outer layer is woven in a twill weave which provides structure to the inner laminate layer. Apart from that, it's there to provide water repellency and to allow moisture to escape from the inside. If it's under running water for long enough, the outer layer will get soaked. That's what the inner layer is for to repel the water that has set in in the wind. In terms of its water repellency, the hardest I've put the jacket through is in a heavy downpour for about 10 minutes, but most of the time I wear in light rain and it has kept me dry. In terms of windproofness, the hardest I put it through was in Japan. And it was super windy, felt like my eyelids were about to be blown off. Thankfully, the jacket did break the wind and I would have been much colder without it. Although Uniqlo claims the jacket to be breathable, in hot weather, it causes my body to heat up faster so I wouldn't recommend wearing it in the tropics. Even in air-conditioned environments, there's this stuffy feeling when I'm wearing the jacket. If anyone from Uniqlo is watching this, maybe consider an armpit vent. Also, because the jacket is made from polyester, it doesn't feel great on the skin. Especially since I wear short sleeve tees most of the time. Wearing a long sleeve shirt can mitigate this, but makes it doubly hot inside. Because of this, I feel that the jacket works best as an outer shell layer in any season outside summer. As a consolation, the fabric is super stretchy which increases comfort and can be folded or squished to fit most backpacks. But as you can see, whenever it stretches or gets folded along the seams, the inner laminate and seam tapes start to break down. Which to me is the jacket's biggest issue. I don't even wear the jacket that frequently, I stored it in my cool and dark wardrobe when not in use, and have hand washed it cold every single time. But the laminate has flicked along the hood and the tape seams have come undone, which renders the water repellency and windproofness useless. It's a pity because the outer layer is still holding up fine. In terms of hardware, the front zip and pocket zips are from YKK and are smooth to zip and unzip, so no complaints there. Although the high collar is great for protection, the hood is also a tad short which lets rain in whenever it's facing diagonally in my direction. The pockets are great for what they are, but since I usually put my phone and wallet in my jacket pockets, that means no room for my hands in this jacket. An inner pocket would be nice, but of course at this price, some corners must be cut. There's also a draw cord at the hem which can be pulled and locked into position and can be undone easily. The two draw cords at the hood have the same mechanism. In terms of fit, I wear a size small and it fits relatively well. The sleeves are a little bit long for my taste, but tightening the velcro straps can shorten it. It fits on the fuller side, which is good for layering chunky knits and flannels. But I treat the jacket strictly as a functional piece and rarely wear it for fashion, because I don't think it looks good with the hood down. The hem ends around the hip, which on the plus side makes it more like a tech wear hoodie, but on the downside is where rain droplets will trickle down and get absorbed into your pants. But since I mostly wear this during light rains, I wouldn't say that it's a major issue. The parka retails for $99.90 SGD, but can be found on sale for $79.90. So, is it a good buy? In general, I'd say no. If you need a rain jacket immediately and are only using it for the short term or if you're only wearing it for fashion and don't really care how it eventually tatter on the inside then sure i guess but if you're like most people who only want one functional jacket and be done with it for a long while then the durability issues of this jacket is hard to look past and i recommend looking elsewhere because my jacket has already worn in so much on the inside i'll only be wearing it under extremely light rains or as a fashion piece in colder environments and that's all for me like this video if you found it helpful and let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite budget rain jackets